Hello friends, welcome to Math Time with Mrs. Idas. Today we are going to be reviewing our shapes in order to make a shapes scarecrow. So you will need your paper that looks like this, the one with the shapes on it, a triangle, a circle, a square, and one, two, three, four rectangles. You will also need the piece of light blue construction paper so that we can glue our shapes on top of it after we're done coloring. So let's begin. My shape scarecrow has an orange circle head. Can you find your orange crayon? And let's color the circle orange. Remember, a circle is round and it has no straight sides and no angles, no points. So here's our circle. Let's color our circle orange. Go ahead and color the edges first, like this, around and around. There we go, in one direction. And then we can fill inside the middle. Great job, friends. Remember, you don't have to push down too hard. We don't want your hand to get too tired now. Just go over some of the spots that you missed. And we have now an orange circle for the head. Sometimes scarecrows are made with pumpkin heads. So that's why we thought orange would be a fun color for the circle. All right, next our scarecrow will have a yellow square body. Can you find the square? Here it is, it has four equal sides. So let's color our square yellow. The square will be the body. So I'm going to color the edges first, the top and the bottom. Then I will color the left and the right. This way I stay in the lines. And then I can come back and I can color inside of the center. And then you can always go back over and color any spots that maybe you have missed. A yellow square for the body. Excellent. Our scarecrow has green arms, two green rectangular arms. So let's choose two of the rectangles, maybe these two, one, two, and let's color them green. They have four sides, but two sides are long and two sides are short. See, good job, color those edges and then shade the rest in with your green. Good job, friends. I love to see your wow coloring. There's one rectangle. Remember, two arms, so we need to color two rectangles. So I always like to color the sides first to give me a guide so I don't color outside of the lines. Here we go. Some nice sides first like this, and then I can go ahead and finish coloring in the middle like so. Okay, let's review. My shape scarecrow has a round circle orange head, a square yellow body, and two rectangle green arms. My shape scarecrow has two rectangular blue legs. So let's find these other two rectangles and we're going to color them blue. Blue like jeans. Sometimes farmers, when they make scarecrows, they use their old jeans to make the pants so that the scarecrow looks like a person standing in the fields that wiggles in the wind to scare away the crows from eating all their crops. Maybe the corn and maybe the grapes things that we are ready to harvest in the fall. Those crows come and eat everything. And then the farmer can't have those things, those foods to sell at the market for us to eat. So scarecrows help farmers 
scare away the crows. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It has to be a really good scarecrow. So let's color these two rectangles blue. Color them in. You don't have to press too hard, remember. We don't wanna get your hand too tired. We're just building up the muscles. Okay, my shaped scarecrow has a brown triangle hat. Can you find the triangle? Here it is, three sides, three corners. And we're using brown, like a straw hat. So, we are going to color one side, two sides, and three sides. Good job. And then we can fill in the middle carefully. Great job, friends. Good job. Look at those nice details and the nice coloring you're doing. Excellent. Very nice. So now we have the orange circle, the yellow square, two green rectangles for the arms, two blue rectangles for the legs, and a brown triangle for the hat. Before we cut out our pieces, let's add some details. Hmm, on the shirt, we can add three buttons. So you can use red or magenta or any color that you like for buttons. And let's draw three little circles here in the middle for some buttons for our shape scarecrow shirt. So one round circle button, two round circle buttons, and three round circle buttons. Good job, friends. If you like, you can even add a little pocket. You can make a line and then a U shape if you like a little pocket on your scarecrow shirt. Great job, friends. Our scarecrow needs some eyes. So I'm going to use black and I'm going to make two little round eyes. One, two. And I'm going to make a little red triangle nose with my red crayon. So I'll draw three sides, and I will color it in. There we go. Little triangle nose, and then a little funny happy face. So I'll use my black crayon again, and I will make like a wiggle, and then I will put a little curve on this side, and this side to make a funny little wiggly face for my scarecrow. And we can even add some little lines like it was sewn on, like a real scarecrow might have. So cute! Very nice, friends. Now that we have these details, let's go ahead and get some scissors and cut out all of the shapes. So move your blue paper to the side. We don't want to cut our blue paper, but we will cut our shapes. So one of the easiest things to do is follow the line going up and over, turn your page around, and then cut going down. Just like this, and there. So now I have the two legs, but they just have a little bit of white, so I'll just go snip and snip, like this. There's the two legs. Oh, and in case you need help remembering, the small hole of the scissor goes on the top, the bigger hole goes on the bottom, and you need to remember your thumbs up cut. The thumb goes in the little hole, your fingers go in the big hole, and then you go open, shut them, open, shut them. Good job, friends. Let's do the two arms next. So this is what I'll do. I'll start from the side. I'll cut along this side of the rectangle, and then I'm just gonna go up like this, turn my paper, follow the black line, going over, turn my paper again, and follow this line all the way down. Here are two green rectangles, and then I'll just come here and snip one, 
and snip two. And then I don't need this white part in the middle. So, so far I have two blue rectangles, two green rectangles. Now I think I will do the head next. So again, I'm going to follow the line all the way around. Use your other hand to help you turn your paper as you go. And you can go slowly around and around the circle. Follow the black line. There you go. Here's the round circle head. And let's do the triangle next. So come from the side, go straight on the black line, turn your page, come up again on the next black line, turn your page, and go down the next black line. There's the triangle, very nice. And last but not least, we need the square for the body. So, go all the way on one side, cut on two sides, cut on three sides, and cut on four sides. You can always recycle the extra papers you have. Move them out of the way for now. So let's make sure we have all of our pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Do you have your seven pieces? Great job, friends. Now let's put our shape scarecrow together. So move your little pieces down. Find your blue paper. We're going to glue our shape scarecrow here on this blue paper to make a background like the blue sky on the farm. Next, get your glue stick, open it up. Make sure you only roll your glue stick an itty bitty bit. See how nice and clean my glue, my glue stick is still? That makes it easier for me to be able to open and shut my glue stick. All right, so first let's plan out what we're going to do. We know that our shape scarecrow has a circle head, a square body, two green arms, two blue rectangle legs, and one brown triangle hat, and the hat can overlap. So I can see that I need to scoot everything down just a bit so that my hat will fit on the page. So first it's a good idea to plan out how your scarecrow will look. Now we have a better idea of where we need to glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot up the hat and the head, I'm going to scoot over the arms and the legs, and this is where I want my square body to go. So I will turn my square body over and I will put some glue in the corners, one, two, three, four, and one dot in the middle like this. And then I will flip it over and I will press it down. Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now I will find the head. I will turn the head over. I will put a little bit of glue around the edges, like this. I'll flip over the head and I'll lay it right here on top of the square. Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, friends. Let's put on the arms. So for the arms, you're just going to turn it around and put a stripe of glue like this and then put it up here by the corner. One, two, three, four, five. Then turn over your next rectangle. Put a stripe of glue. Turn it over. Bring it up here on the other side from the corner. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's add the legs, the blue legs. Stripe of glue on the back. Turn it over. One, two, three, four, five. Press, press so it doesn't come off. And then with my other blue rectangle, I'll put a stripe of glue on the back. I'll put it on the bottom and press. One, two, three, four, five. And now I will add my scarecrow's hat. So I'll flip over the triangle. I will make one, 
two, three stripes of glue, and I will overlap. That means I'll put the hat a little bit on top of the circle, and then I'll press it down. One, two, three, four, five. And look, boys and girls, you have your very own cute shape scarecrow. So let's add some details. We can add a little bit of dirt at the bottom because the scarecrow is in the field. So you can put a little bit of brown down here at the bottom. Very nice. Then you can add some straw with your yellow because the farmers stuff their scarecrows with straw. So you can make some yellow zigzags here. You can even trace a little bit of brown there so we can see that it's the hay, the straw. We can even add a little bit right here coming out of the hat if you like. A little bit of straw coming out of the hat. Very good. And we can use our white crayon to make some clouds at the top. So you can make a curvy cloud shape at the top and color it in with your white crayon. I love adding details to my artwork, don't you? It makes our art more fun and interesting. There's a cloud. Maybe we can have a sun coming out of the corner. So draw a curve and you can color it in with yellow in the corner. And then we can use orange to trace that curve and put some of the sun rays. <laughs> then we know that the scarecrows are usually found in the cornfields. So we can make a tall green line like this. And then we can make a curvy U shape at the top like this. And then we can make one curve, two curves, three curves, maybe four curves, all right? And then with our yellow, we're going to make yellow ovals, like corn coming out from those leaves, from those husks, corn husks. Now it looks like our scarecrow is in a cornfield. I can even trace those with a little bit of brown. And we used ovals, ovals to make the corn. Very nice, friends. And of course, our scarecrow is trying to scare away the crows. But this scarecrow looks so friendly, I think a little crow is going to come and sit on his arm. So you can make a circle for the crow's head and an oval for the crow's body. And we could put a little dot for the eye and lightly color it in with your black crayon. So light. And then the crow has a little tail, a little feathery tail, and maybe a little wing that we can see from one side. And then with our orange, let's add the little crow's beak, little beak, and maybe his little feet. <laughs> and there you have it, boys and girls, a little shaped scarecrow. And I hope you had fun making these details with Mrs. Itis. I traced my cloud in blue so you can see it better. And as all good artists do, let's sign our name at the bottom. You can use your pencil or a marker. I'm going to use a marker so I can see it better. And there is our cute shaped scarecrow. Now, make sure you keep this in a handy spot, like maybe your cold folder, cold folder or your toolkit, because later this week, you're going to write a little story, I feel scared when, and then you can glue it on the back of your project so everything is in one place. I sure hope you like making your shaped scarecrow with me. I know I had a fun time making it with you. See you later, friends. Bye.